Okay guys, it is June 21st, 2021. Um, I didn't take a test yesterday, but I did take one um, Saturday, the 10 DPO, and today I'm 12 DPO, and I'm going to take the, I'm just not, Um, and if this one is negative, I'm promising myself that I will not take another one to cycle unless I am like a week late. Because a week late is as long as I've ever been late, just being late. I'm going to drop them. I'm going to test. crampy, moody, and I'm not really this moody before my period typically. My period is supposed to part, start either Friday or Saturday. Typically. Um, so, uh, uh, I just, I don't know. How long am I supposed to wait? I think it's three minutes. Three minutes. I really feel like I see something. Like, like I know you're not going to be able to see it. I'm back with a clear bully. Just the normal rapid detection. Okay, it's going across. Be back in three minutes. Tuesday morning, I am at 13 DPO. Um, as you saw that I had very faint, big positives, I don't even know, last night. So, um, I'm going to take a first response digital, and then they still do rapid detection. And if they come out positive, I'm going to take a good digital, because well, why not? And, um, my husband. If these come out positive, I'm going to tell my son to get them for me. And I will show you. Um, I will show you how I'm going to tell you. Okay. I'm going to start with the first response. Oh. Okay, I'm going to see how it works. Okay. 
Okay. It's blinking. So I'm just gonna tell you about some symptoms that I've been having. Um, I'm really moody. Um, I've been nauseous a couple of times and I've had cravings out the one like loaded curly fries and um, we went to Chattanooga for Father's Day and we had sticky fingers and if you never ate that you need to go but I was like dancing it was so good and I've never in my life been the kind of person that dances while I'm eating and then like it was I, want, I felt like I could run a mile afterwards. I was like, what is wrong with me? And um, I had tested five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I was like, well, I'm out. Like, there should be something at, at least on ten, right? And I didn't test 11 DPO because I was like, I don't want to be depressed with all of them. So... I didn't test and then I was like you know what I'm gonna test today Monday because I had nothing to do I'm gonna take this out of the package so I can see it blinking yep it's still blinking Does it feel really at the same time? It does. Like, it's crazy. Um, as I've said before, I have a daughter that just turned two. So, it's a perfect age gap. This is what we wanted, obviously. But, um, actually, if it had been up to just me, I would have had them closer. But, um,. Yeah, I'm just, I'm also worried. I'm like, my daughter, how is she gonna adjust all these changes? Like, she's, she's mama's baby. Like, it's just been me and her this whole two years of her I'm really impatient with this clock blinking. I already took the early one that was in here, the two one one, last cycle. It was because, even though it was six days late. So, you know, that's always fun being a week late and then negative test. Please get your hopes up. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's the dead you don't want. Why do they have to separate the instructions? For the, what is what? Hold on. Hold on, guys. Inside, so you dip it for five seconds as well. My daughter's awake. Hey, hello, gorgeous. And now I'm going to dip the digital. The dip it for 20 seconds. Crazy is the amount of money that's sitting right here on my dresser. <laughs> oh my god. There we go. Boom. The big doll.
Okay. It's blinking. Last night, we had a friend coming over, hanging out with us. So it was very easy to not tell him because I didn't want her to know. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. So like, a bed? now that, no, we can't touch this. Hold on. A bed. Um, so now that they're not here, I can tell him and I'm like, oh my God. I thought it would be too early. For the digital, I really did. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna let you see it. Oh my god. Well, that's it, guys. We're having baby number two. Like, my uh, clear blue has a line, and both digital say yes. So, that's it. Oh my God. I can't wait. I can't wait till it gets home to tell him. I'm gonna tell you real quick. So this is our dresser and this door right here has her diapers and wipes in it. So I'm going to lay, I'm gonna be like, hey babe, will you bring me a diaper and wipes? And this is going to be laying, what's one more to a door due March 2022? This is gonna be laying with this right here on top of the dresser so i can't wait oh my god okay guys my husband will be home in like 20 minutes um so this is what i decided to do instead of it being on top of the dresser i feel like oh my god my hair i have really pretty hair i promise i brush it instead of being on top of the dresser i have it where he has to open the door and it's right there so like he won't see it right off the bat and like i don't want him to see it when he opens this right here is my daughter's birthday party stuff that i gotta put away um like i don't want him to see it before he actually gets to read it like i don't want him to see a test on top of the letter board right here and automatically, oh, you're pregnant. I want him to actually, like, have to open it. So, he's at home. And the person that he, that rides with him to work is also in the car. So, I may have to wait a minute. I'm not positive yet. But I'm super excited. It cannot wait. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I've already planned the pregnancy announcement. Um, I've already planned how we're going to tell our families. I'm so excited. Oh my God. Okay, so I'll see you guys when he gets here. Hi guys. Um, I was not going to post this video, so I don't have an ending to it. It kind of just abruptly ends at me finding out I'm pregnant. Um, But that was Monday, the 21st of June, 2021. And that, I'll start off by saying that Wednesday, the 23rd, I texted my husband when he was at work and said, something's not right. I just don't feel right. Um, I think I'm gonna lose this baby. And, he said, no, don't think like that. And I was like, well, I'm trying not to. I'm not purposely sitting here. So we prayed, and we prayed hard. And um, come Friday, the 25th, I was spotting. And Friday was the actual day that my period was due. My period wasn't even due yet. So I started spotting, and I was like, well, I don't know. I was, because I didn't implant, I didn't, I didn't have implantations, implantation spotting with my daughter. So I was like, this could be that, I don't know, I don't know when that's supposed to occur. Um, I was like, I have no clue, so let, let's just wait it out and see what happens in the morning. And Saturday, I woke up and it was full on, like I knew. 
I lost the baby. And um, we had had two chemical pregnancies before our daughter. They were oopsies. Um, and then we got pregnant with my daughter on our first try, like our first cycle try. And, and then I did it again with this baby and I was like, and I told myself, I was like, you're not that lucky. Like, what's what's going on? Like, you know, nobody's that lucky to get pregnant twice on the first cycle trying. <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, that was pretty much that. And with a chemical pregnancy, there's really no point in going to the doctor. Because there's technically nothing there. Like, you haven't implanted yet. So there's no, like, because if I hadn't been tracking and trying and testing, I would have never known anyway, because my period came on the day it was due anyway. So, um, I, uh, just carried on. Um, but what I want to say is if you had a chemical pregnancy, you still lost your baby. People love to say that a chemical was not a miscarriage because you, there was no baby. But if you're a mother, you know when you see those two pink lines, two blue lines, whatever test you took, as soon as you see a positive, you're in love. Like I had just in those four days I had already planned how I was going to tell our parents my sister um I'd planned the gender reveal I'd figured out that we were probably going to do sneak peek and find out earlier I'd, I'd planned it all I'd figured out my due date and yeah like we were so excited and we'd already picked out baby names so, yeah, don't let anybody tell you didn't lose your baby. You know in your heart. And also know in your heart that you're not alone. One in four is a lot of people. And um, there's a whole tribe of us out here that are going through it. And I just, I just wanted to end this video. And I just, I wanted to post it because you see pregnancy tests after miscarriages you always see those but you never see the prince tests that lead to miscarriages and i deserve that this baby deserved to be celebrated either way and um like i used to be the one to never don't post a baby don't post your pregnancy until after the first trimester and i think with our next one, I think I'm going to post it a little early because I'm tired of being pregnant and not being able to talk about it because it's too early. And then I have a miscarriage that I can't talk about because I didn't announce it. So, um, yeah. My daughter woke up. So, yeah, just know that you're not alone. And uh, follow me, and we'll do this TTC journey together. Yeah, bye guys.